Welcome back. Uh, you're watching Lunch Money. The markets are doing extremely well today. Uh, despite the weakness that we've seen in global markets, uh, the Nifty is now climbing up about a percent, comfortably above the 8100 mark. But the one pocket of real interest in the markets is the housing finance companies. It started off with a bunch of uh, upgrades in terms of brokerage upgrades. Uh, and then we had that big announcement from the CCEA, uh, that, which is of the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs yesterday, giving a big leg up to the housing for all drive. Now, let's take you through what they have actually done. The government has approved an interest subsidy on housing loans for a tenure of up to 15 years. Low-cost housing schemes will now get a 6.5% interest subsidy for loans up to 6 lakh rupees. And above that, uh, they have also uh, changed the definition of households uh, uh, which are eligible for this. Now, to discuss this and uh, whether the excitement is warranted, joining me on this uh, leg of the discussion is Mohit Goyal, CEO of OMAX, and Sudeen Choksi, MD of Grow Finance. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, Mr. Choksi, your stock is doing extremely well today, so it's a good time to talk to you about the opportunity over here. What are you seeing as the opportunity after this uh, kind of announcement by the government? I think this is going to open up a uh, you know, great opportunity for uh, developers in the private sector, as well as for the housing finance companies, and also for the banks. Uh, largely, the segment was getting neglected uh, in EWS and the LIG segment. I think they will be the biggest beneficiary, uh, you know, in terms of getting the housing at affordable cost. Hmm. Mohit, uh, let me get you in over here. You know, we've had this discussion before, Mohit, and OMAX was one of the early movers in affordable housing, which you pulled back from. Now, uh, take us through what your own perception is uh, from what the government has done on both these counts, interest rate subvention and the fact that the, the definition of uh, the households has changed. So first of all, let me just say that this is one of the remarkable things which the central government has done. We were waiting for it uh, since ages. Uh, hats off to them, first thing. And the second thing which we've been reiterating uh, and saying that we need to increase the eligibility of EWS and LIG people, which they've done. So now they understand what is the ground realities and what's the practical thing. So what, I just went through the document and they've increased the EWS limit from 1 lakh to 3 lakhs. And for LIG, it's from 3 to 6 lakhs. That means a person who's earning around 40 to 50,000 rupees per month, he comes into LIG and he can uh, avail all these benefits which you're talking about. And depending on the opportunity, of course, it, it throws a huge opportunity for all the private developers and to the whole industry, I would say. And uh, the real problem, you know, the huge demand which we talk about in housing shortage, it's in EWS and LIG, not in luxury segment. And uh, that's the reason we wanted the framework so the central government has given a fantastic framework to work for us. But now, you know, real estate is a state subject. We won't be able to do anything till the time a state do not act on this. So I would recommend or I would want a, a, you know, a BJP ruled state to use this framework and get the state ruling uh, and get, make the framework for us so that we work in that particular state quickly and make a one sample kind of smart city ASAP so that the whole nation can follow that. Okay. So just to clarify, that means, Mohit, uh, this has to be uh, ratified by the state or passed through by the state because it is a state subject. So this is only the, uh, you know, what the center has done right now. No, no, no. This is not supposed to be ratified by them, but whatever they'll be doing. If, for example, there is no, there is no policy like... Okay, we've lost that link, but let's get Mr. Choksi. And Mr. Choksi, this interest rate subvention, will it, uh, and this change in nomenclature, will it uh, mean a big leg up for demand for loans uh, for affordable housing? How do you see it pl uh, play out? No, I think interest subvention of 6.5% is a huge uh, uh, benefit, and obviously it will trigger a demand, uh, and I think it will benefit by and large. So what kind of pickup are you expecting really in, in uh, home loans? Well, I think the pickup will happen, you know, very gradually uh, because, you know, government has just announced the policy framework. It's a very comprehensive framework they have announced. Each of the states will have to enter into MOU with the central government uh, wherever they want to participate. Government, uh, the state governments will have to identify the land blocks uh, where the construction can be undertaken. 
so i think gradually uh, the opportunities will grow you know as the time and uh, passes okay. and as the state starts implementing the policy okay mohit uh, we had lost your link but we'll come back to you you know uh, this is a policy that the government had announced uh, some time back the whole thrust on affordable housing what is the translation been in the states you mentioned bjp state should uh, you know adopt this and uh, encourage it and be aggressive over here but have you seen any change on the ground and by when do you see action really happening here So the way central government has taken targets, it's phenomenal. I would be really happy if, even if they achieve seventy percent of their targets. Right now, to be very honest, in ground uh, we don't find anything, no changes as such. Uh, but I'm expecting now the aggressive policy coming from the centre, from the top. So now the BJP ruled states would definitely uh, do something on this front, especially say Haryana, which in which they've come recently. and haryana so this policy would actually be affected or would be used useful more which near metros so in delhi ncr is going to be more near say uh, gurgaon or in say rajasthan bhiwadi ahead uh, up side uh, yamuna express way or gate noida here this policy can be used uh, fantastically so for that state needs to work quickly so i'm expecting that a bjp rule state would uh, do something quickly and show a, a, some kind of sample for the rest of the country You know, uh, uh, Mohit, you've had an uh, 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 interesting twist with affordable housing at Omax. Uh, you were one of the uh, first players to make a big announcement on uh, on uh, this when you said we will create 10 lakh affordable house. It was a huge outlay of 80,000 crores, if I'm not wrong, in 2008, 2009. Since then, you withdrew from it. What was your experience? And is there really is this going to be the game changer that will get those kind of numbers back into the picture? so it this will definitely be a game changer for sure and uh, we 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 did not uh, withdraw from it it is that we could not do it because of lot of uh, ground reality issues and real estate as you would say see none of the there is no national pair we have in the country you have north based players you have south based players this is only because of the fact that while you're doing real estate you need to know the ground realities and you need to manage the uh, say local policy issues local uh, approval issues and local land issues there is no one central system for that so that's the reason we could not do it and now this policy coming in and they promoting affordable housing which is the need of the hour and uh, we will definitely going to be our strategy has always been uh, doing affordable housing this is going to give booster to our strategy also and we might think entering into new cities and uh, making a use of this policy okay mr choksi let's look at the wider spectrum sir uh, there is a lot of expectation or at least uh, Uh, believe that there is a pickup that we are seeing in home loan disbursals, uh, and that is why the stock markets have been very excited about uh, the home finance companies. What is the sense that you are getting? Is there a pickup? No, no, pickup is not there at present. I think you know people are expecting that you know this policy is a very facilitating as far as uh, you know addressing the problem of the shortages. in the EWS and LIG segment and i think this will pave and open the opportunity for developers also to get into this space even the government will take a lead uh, you know making the land available uh, to the private players and they are also offering the interest subsidy apart from that they are giving you know 1 and 1/2 lakh even it is an individual uh, land construction uh, of the house no my so mr choksi uh, okay mr choksi you are talking about what the government will do my question was really whether there is a pick up overall in in uh, home loans from what your no, perspective not at the moment not no. at the moment i told no. you up front okay no no moment. segment is there an up up up, up take in no okay Okay, uh, Mohit, is there any sense that you're getting of uh, uh, a pickup in sales? Uh, we, last time we spoke about the massive inventory pileup in real estate. Uh, what sense are you getting in terms of demand on the ground? See uh, the inventory pileup which you see, it's it's in metros. It's a, it's in uh, more of uh, a unit which is selling at one one crore or one point five crores in metros. the there is no supply for ews and lig tell me who is doing ews lig projects in metros nobody i don't think any private developer is able to do that because there is no feasibility in doing that those particular projects now the the feasibility will come in as soon as the feasibility will come lot of developers will get into it and there will be supply of ews and lig coming in once you will you, and the demand is there there is a huge demand for ews and lig 
so i don't think so if you are selling ws lig you would have any sales issue you would be able to sell the, that stock within a day there will be no inventory pile up so nobody is supposed to be scared of inventory pile up because that inventory pile is, is of another segment completely we are here talking about only ws lig and complete affordable houses so i don't see any problem in sales okay you don't see i mean not talking about sales you're talking about overall sales mohit and that's not picked up but last uh, last question to both of you uh, how do you see this panning out uh, uh, mr choksi by when do you see a real pick up in home loans and when will you start seeing the benefits of this uh, interest rate subvention and changes really coming in what time frame are you seeing i see at least you know it will take 6 uh, months time 3 to 6 months time mm. because it's just a policy announcement the framework has happened they will have to draw up a detailed plan as to who would be the nodal agency who will reimburse this interest subsidy uh, or who will re, uh, you know give the subsidy to the individual uh, uh, property owners so i think it will take at least 3 to 6 months to you know draw up a detailed uh, policies and procedures and uh, then the, uh, people will start getting the benefit of it okay. and that is the time really it will trigger the demand okay that is an affordable housing sir on the general demand when do you see a real pick up i i don't know i i very difficult to make a judgment because you know people have been through and wrong over a period of last 18 months mm. everybody thought in 6 months or 9 months time the scenario will change and we have not seen the scenario changing over the last 15 18 months Okay, so you don't see a visible sign of a pickup even now when many of the banks have started uh, uh, translating the RBI repo rate cut uh, and the rates are coming down. You're not seeing a pickup in demand. No, I, I don't think it just it, uh, you know it just happens. You know, you announce a reduction in the ra rate of interest and it doesn't just trigger a demand. I think we'll have to wait and see uh, how you know it excites the ultimate customer. Hmm. Uh, property decisions take three to six months for a family to arrive at. Okay. So, And that's not happened as yet. Great Mr. No. Choksi, thank you so much for joining us. Mohit, I'll let you have the last word. But when do you see this benefit as Mr. Choksi was saying? This is an announcement. Now we will need to see what the government does, how it gets notified, who is going to bear the brunt of the uh, the subvention, who's going to make up for that loss. Uh, by when do you start seeing uh, from your standpoint real activity and demand or or first supply and then demand in in this affordable segment? So by this policy, actually the government is targeting around two crores houses by 2022. Mm. Um, ballpark figure, we would need 25 lakh crores for this particular uh, target to be achieved. So there's a lot of issues which needs to be penned down, which needs to be detailed out, so that a pro 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 policy would be can be made. So of course, I completely agree with Mr. Choksi. It's going to take at least a uh, couple of quarters when they can come out in, the, in 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 front of everyone and say that this is our framework this is the policy and this is the way they're going to be doing partnership with private developers this is the opportunity going to be thrown on pr uh, private uh, developers to come participate in this particular segment and overall demand i think um, it's going to take another uh, say four quarters where you actually see real estate picking up steaming up till then it's it's Well, this market only, and I really don't think that markets are bad right now. It, it's just the mismatch is the product which a developer is selling, and the demand is of some other product. That's the only mismatch. That's right. what I see. Otherwise, I don't see there is any problem in demand or um, sales. Okay, Mohit, we leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, well, that uh, paints a, a slightly difficult picture of the real estate sector and the home loan market right now. But uh, this could be the big trigger. for both a, a, a big ramp up as far as demand is concerned and supply is concerned in that very very crucial segment of affordable housing those are the stocks today most of the home finance stock house finance stocks have actually had a very good run if you actually look at it divan housing uh, lic housing uh, guru uh, finance all these stocks have been up and about we we'll leave it over here but uh, after the short break we come back the spotlight is on european markets and uh, what the fomc meeting threw up we get you views uh, from uh